When I was 10 years old, uh, my maternal grandmother fell ill, and uh, we thought that she was going to uh, die. Um, and I remember, you know, being that age and thinking, oh, if sh if she passed away, that this would be a double loss because, on the one hand, of course, we would lose my grandmother, but she was also the family historian, so we would lose all these uh, all the sense of the kind of history and lineage of our family. So um, she was living in the Philippines at the time, and I was an L.A. kid, and I asked my parents if I could spend the summer with her, uh, and they agreed, and I went over and took essentially what we would now call oral histories. Um, I had her tell all her stories into cassette tapes, and then I went, uh, after that, that, that what, maybe eight, six or eight weeks I spent in the Philippines, I went back to L.A. and I used these tapes as the basis for writing a kind of 90-page non-fiction, you know, novel about the history of my family. So it's interesting to me in retrospect that the one time as a kid that I turned to writing was to try to recontextualize myself in some sense, you know, to put my own existence, I think, as a Chinese-American kid in a, a broader kind of historical context. And then my grandmother, it turned out, didn't die. And um, she, uh, many years later, I used that uh, that uh, novel I'd written when I was 10 as the source material for Golden Child. So I was kind of collaborating with myself as a younger person. And then my grandmother, like, you know, came to see the play. Yeah. And um, so it, it all kind of, everything came around full circle. The events in Golden Child are kind of loosely based on the family history, but okay. the basic plot points are all accurate in the sense that my great grandfather um, had, had three wives. Um, he converted to Christianity. Uh, there was then this issue of, you know, what do you do with your three wives? Right. So those basic signposts are correct. I think there's two reasons that I wanted to go to do a revival of Golden Child here at Signature. One, uh, I've, you know, I've always, uh, I love the play and I felt, you know, maybe it got a little bit of short shrift in its, uh, in its Broadway incarnation. So it seemed like a, a play that I wanted to revisit and see what we could find in it today. Number one, and number two, it's a play that I wanted to continue working on mm -hmm. uh, because the play has a, a bookend structure essentially where it starts in the present and then it goes back to about 1918. Uh, most of the play takes place in 1918 and then it ends in the present. And those bookends in the present were always really problematic. I, you know, kept rewriting those bookends up until you know, press night on Broadway. And I still don't feel that I ever got them right. So I'm going to continue working on them here at Signature and we'll have kind of a new version of them.